But let's be very, 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 very clear. Yeah. Let's be very clear. I get asked the same question. Oh, it's thundering. Ooh. Hope the Lord ain't coming to strike me for my mess. <laughs> but anyway, so let's be very clear. Okay, so I get asked the question a lot of questions all the fucking time and when I get asked these questions I, I hate having to repeat myself all the time so one of the questions that I get asked a lot is like as far as like download tips is what do I think about guys who do a lengthy time in prison like you know your baby daddy I get hit up all the time my inbox my baby daddy just did five years my baby daddy just did ten years he did 12 years, he get out of jail, and now he want to do different shit, and you know, I, I need to know what your opinion is, the detective, I need to know, you know, what you think. Bitch, he gay as hell, I mean, what the fuck, I mean, bitch, is you stupid? Don't ask me no stupid ass questions now, if, if somebody gonna inbox me a question, then ask me a question that's really, you know, okay, okay, let me break it down, okay. Now, I think that it just depends on the person's sex drive before they went into jail you know you got some good looking men that could stay out of jail and i'm pretty sure everybody including myself have been with like a really good looking man you know and he don't even want to mess you know what i'm saying like he don't even you be you laying in there looking good smelling good being sexy whatever and he not even trying to hit it you know because he not really pressed for pussy every nigga not pressed for pussy some niggas you know, they can just chill and be laid back. They don't have to hit it. You know what I'm saying? How many times, you, you know, ladies, have you been around a man and you wanted to be a hoe for the night? You know what I'm saying? You wanted to suck the dick. You wanted to get fucked. But he wasn't really entertaining you like that. Because some niggas just got some respect. You know, some men don't really care. But for them motherfuckers who got to hit it, got to split it, got to spit on it, got to lick it, got to do everything they can to a bitch... And you think they, bitch, this motherfucker won't even give you a day off on your period, bitch. He trying to, you tell him on your period, he still want to fuck. I mean, he thirsty for the box. He can't help it. Bitch, what makes you think that he going to go to prison for years and years and years and that's going to be it? No. It doesn't work that way. And I know, because I've been to jail quite a few times, and I know when I go to jail, baby, they knock on my motherfucking duck. They knocks on my door, baby. They try to kick the door in. They got to put me in segregation. They say, they see this beauty in this Pocahontas hair. They say, oh, Lord, I'm the closest thing to... <laughs> what? Yeah. Child, they see this Pocahontas hair, baby. This this Rapunzel hair. They go crazy. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Them niggas go crazy. They get to kick it on my door. Talking about, you know, just trying to sneak in my room. You know, to try to take this good ass. But I don't never give it to them. You see what I'm saying? I wanted to a couple times, but you no, know, I don't... I don't be knowing them niggas be dirty. But well, the point that I'm making is, is that so to answer the question, what do I think about guys who go to jail for lengthy periods of time? You got And guys always say, I was in there jacking off and I was in there, you know, fucking the guards or whatever. Don't get me wrong. Clearly, it is some guards. And, and, and men in prison, they still look good. I mean, whether you go to jail, if you look good on the street, you look good when you go to jail. But, I mean... Yeah, sometimes I'm pretty sure it's some women in there who, you know, probably fuck the inmates, you know what I'm saying, give them a little pussy, and they can last or whatever. I get it, but not all the time. You know, they call it survival sex, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, they having sex because they don't want to. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, in a way, I kind of feel like it's rape a little bit, you know what I'm saying, because it's kind of like, you're kind of being forced, you know what I'm saying, you're putting yourself in a situation where you, there's no women to have sex with, and human beings, we have to have sex but what I'm saying is that it just doesn't make any sense to me that you would think, you know, that your man been in jail and on the streets, he was fucking every other day, all day, you know what I'm saying, or every day, two and three times a day, and you think that he just going to go to prison just off the street one Thursday at five o'clock in the afternoon, they come to feds, come pick his ass up, and you think that his fucking ass going to be in fucking jail for five and ten and twenty years and thinking that he ain't in there fucking. Bitch, is you stupid? Uh, Jack, I got a dick. I know where how dicks feel, and jacking your dick every day do not mean shit, bitch. If if jacking, if, if people listen to niggas say, I jacked off for three years, I just jacked off for three years, bitch. If if jacking off was as good as pussy or head, then why the fuck is these niggas so thirsty? 
last time I checked, every human being, and well, unless you, you know, disabled, every human being is born with two hands. So, why the fuck am I going to the club spending money on these bitches with these short skirts and these mini skirts and these dresses on this bullshit when I got a hand right here and a hand right here, I got a right hand or a left hand. When I get tired of the right hand, I can use the left hand. So if my hand was just as good as pussy or head or ass or whatever, then why the fuck is niggas so thirsty for pussy? Right, bitch, because Jack and I get old, trust me. It get old. So Jack and I is not gonna you know what I'm saying? Curb your like, you know what I'm saying? Your sexual appetite for you to be with someone. No, bitch. Human beings, we need we need bodily contact. We need contact. I need to feel your body against mine. I need someone else to get me off. You know what I'm saying? So, like I say, you know, for guys who go to prison, I think a man can do a lifetime in prison and not fuck with nobody if he wasn't really fucking like that on the streets. You get what I'm saying? Like. It, 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 you know, it, 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 you know, you come on, ladies, y'all know how some men are. They don't really necessarily have to have no sex. You know what I'm saying? They be the, how many times a man look at you and say, Nah, we ain't got to fuck. You know what I'm saying? We shit, we can just chill. Shit, I ain't, I ain't nothing to just chill. Shit, we can just chill. Now them kind of men, they can do two and three and four years. You know what I'm saying? Because they not pressed for sex on the street. But for them motherfuckers who texting you late night telling you, Let me hit that ass. Let me hit that good pussy, baby. Baby, let me hit some of that ass. And you say, well, baby, I'm on my period. He say, I don't give a fuck. I want that pussy. Bloody and all. <laughs> and then think, I ain't trying to be funny, but then think about it too. Some of y'all bitches look like men. Fix my head and got fucked up. Okay. Now back to what I was saying. Some of y'all bitches look like men. So goddamn bitch, if you think that a man will fuck you and you look like a man, what makes you think he won't fuck a man? I mean, he'll hit that cat stinking. And I know niggas don't be lying because niggas who look at my videos, nigga, y'all know that came up with some cat that wasn't smelling too good. So, but... You the fuck a bitch who pussy stank, fuck a bitch feet dirty, fuck a bitch who smell like a man. You fucking a bitch who look and smell like a man. Oh, you a fuck a man. Let's be clear. Let's be very clear. So, to answer my, to answer y'all question about what do I think about, and this coming from the DA detective, asking me what do I think about your man being in prison for a lengthy amount of time and him coming out of jail, but don't be naive, ladies. Don't be naive. You know damn well he at least got some head in there. I mean, he might not have been in there married and engaged, oh, but he was in there fucking. If he wasn't fucking, he was sucking or he was getting sucked. And he was getting some, you know what I'm saying? Now, like I say, I'm not saying 100% all of them. Some of them might got a little guard, they tapping on a regular, or, you know... Oh, unless you got conjugal visits, you know what I'm saying, you married to your wife, you might, you know what I'm saying, if you could fuck her once a month or whatever, once every two weeks, whatever, you know, that's different. But for them men who just go to jail and real thirsty for pussy on the street and then go to jail and you think they really in there. Sorry about that. I, I'm sorry. I had a, I'm sorry. My, my, my call, I had a call coming in, so my video had got recorded. I'm, my, my apologies about that. But I'll call him back. He broke as hell. I mean, I don't know why the fuck he calling me. I thought he had some money. He ain't had no money. He broke as fuck, but he calling me. So I call him back. But like I was saying, so to answer y'all question, yes, if I do believe that if a man been in jail, because you got to think about it, what goes on behind closed doors goes on behind closed doors. So, I mean, really, the only difference between an openly gay man and a down low gay man is that people know and people don't. So, I mean, it's all the same thing. It's gay, it's gay. It's just some people know and some people don't. So, if I, if I fuck you and tell somebody, then you openly gay. If, 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 if I fuck you and don't tell nobody, then you're on the down low. So, a lot of the time, you know, ain't no cameras. Well, I mean, well, don't get me wrong. People sneak cameras in jail. But ain't no cameras in jail. Ain't no video done in jail. Ain't nothing but you in a cell. You in jail in the cell. You in jail in the cell. So, when you in jail in the cell, ain't no telling what you would do. And when you know, and then faggots in the block get to dropping down as to their knees, oh, you gonna fold to the pressure, cause, I mean, it's like, it's like a vampire who needs blood. Like, I don't give a damn, 
what you talking about? You still a vampire. You you thirsty for the you, you got the thirst. You need some blood. You gon' you gonna bite whatever you can. So when you in jail and you ain't got nothing else to go, I'm not trying to say these niggas like it. You might not want to fuck them. You might not want to get your dick sucked by these niggas. But if you've been in jail, I give I give a man three years. That's my that that, that I'm, I'm I'll never change. I always say sign, stamp, and deliver from me. If you've been in jail for three years or less, if it's three years or less, you might have been able to make it because that's not really a long time. I believe men can hold out for about three years. But after that three year mark. He gay as hell. So take that to the bank and, and cash that check. And ladies, on that's no stupid ass question no more. You know damn well your man was in there uh fucking and sucking. You know damn well he was in there. I mean, he wasn't in there. Uh, what, the, what the fuck you thought he was in there doing? Why the way you talking about what the fuck? That man would kill me here. They be in there working out. I mean, how the fuck you going to jail fat as hell? And you come out of the jail with a damn eight pack and a damn who the fuck is you trying to look good for? Motherfucker, you ain't gotta take no bath. You in jail. You ain't got to, you ain't got to get your body right. I mean, who are you trying to impress in jail? Your baby daddy when your man went to jail a uh, fucked up. He then came out, then went to the dentist in there, then went and got braces on there, and then got his body right, skin clear. Who you in there looking good for, baby? You ain't you ain't came out of jail looking like a model. You've been in there working out. I mean <laughs> I'm just saying. So I I would think that you know, like I say, let's be very clear. If your man come out of jail, your man done a licking time in prison, just accept the fact that he been with a man at one time or another. And let it go. Just let it go. So that's my answer. So, so ladies, if you want to know what I think about your man going to jail for years and years and years, this is my, instead of inboxing you back, this is my response. Yes, I think that if he's been in jail for that amount of time, he gay as hell, and that's just what it is. So that's my answer. Bye.